Uh, any tips for getting a broken MMCX connector out of the DJI Air unit? Yeah, so this is the number one way that air units get messed up is that the MMCX connector breaks off on the inside. Uh, it speaks to the durability of the air unit that that's the failure mode that seems to mess them up the most. It's, you know, it's, it, I mean, that, that could be worse, but how do you get that piece out? There are several methods that people have tried. None of them are 100% successful, but let's go over them. I wish I had pictures to show you, but I'm just going to describe them. The first thing you can try is get a dental pick or, or a very, very fine, uh, like, like piece of tweezer tweezers with a very sharp point and a very fine point. And you go in there with the dental pick and you try to hook it and pull it out. Okay. This doesn't always work. Another thing you can do is you can get a screw. You can get a screw that is the right size to kind of screw in and try and get it to bite on that MMCX and pull it out. Now this can mess up the center pin if you're not careful. So be careful. That is a thing people have done. Another thing people have done is get a very fine piece of wire, preferably solid core wire, and very, very carefully solder that piece of, of wire to the broken off piece of a connector that's inside the, there and then pull the wire and pop it out. This is very risky because if you screw up with the solder, you just get solder all in the MMCX connector and then it's ruined. Another thing you can do, and this is a last resort, is you can open up the air unit. It's actually not that hard to desolder the MMCX connector and then solder a whole new MC, MMCX connector on. What I'm going to recommend you do if you do this is, number one, cut the center pin very carefully so that as you desolder and remove the connector, you do not yank off and rip that tiny center trace. So very, very carefully cut the center pin and then desolder the two outer connections so that it'll, it'll pull off and then just desolder the center pin the leftover piece of center pin, and then you can solder a new one on. It doesn't require uh, surface mount soldering. It doesn't require a hot air station. It can be done with a soldering iron, and people have done it. Jesus Christ. Um, so those are the things that I am aware of that have worked before. And I always have, I have a little bit of PTSD about this topic because I had a guy reach out to me and he said, how do I fix this? And I suggested a couple, I suggested the dental pick. I suggested a couple things to do and he tried them all and they didn't work. And then he took it upon himself to go out and buy a surface mount soldering kit and learn how to so how to do surface mount soldering and then desolder the, the MMCX connector and solder a new one on. And he came back and he was mad at me. And he was like, all the things you told me to do didn't work. And you didn't tell me the one thing I did that did work. And I was like, bro, I, you know, you're clearly a beginner. I didn't expect, I didn't think it would be fruitful to tell you, go buy a, a hot air station, learn how to do surface mount soldering and solder a new MMCX connector on. You're right. I didn't steer you that direction. I was like, sorry. He was really, he's really annoyed at me. So now I always make sure to mention that option. But I think it's a last resort. There's also a service. There's a service. Vista-repair.de. Now they're in Germany. So the shipping might be too much for you. But they repair Cadex Vistas. And I'll bet you they'd solder on a new uh, MMCX if you asked them to. Repair. Repairs for air unit. Replacement of the JSTGH socket. UFL antenna connector repair. Exchange of the bind button. MMCX antenna connector repair. So they'll repair. You see how easy this would be to solder on? If, if you're reasonably good at soldering, like... I don't know. That's a thicker pin than I remember it being. Maybe you shouldn't cut that pin. Oh, that's thicker than I thought. 
Like, you're going to have to figure out how to get this desoldered, and it may be a little tricky. I don't know. So those are some options. Good question. Cy June Loco says Cyclone FPV does the same. Is that true? That's interesting. I didn't know that. Oh, well, howdy do. That's fantastic. Well, that's great. Shipping and a $35 fee. Great. That's uh, cyclonefpv.com. We'll go ahead and get, I'll have a link to them. Yeah, no, T1 Liddy, a hot air gun is the right way to do that. Um, my, my assumption would be that some people may not have a hot air gun and want to try to do it with a, with a soldering iron.